Kroger Creations, brought to you by Kroger and the Midwest Culinary Institute at Cincinnati State. Hi, I'm Chef Meg Galvin. Welcome to the Midwest Culinary Institute and welcome spring. I have a salad for you that's great for springtime leading into summer too. So I'm going to start with a little bit of a vinaigrette. I have a wet towel underneath my bowl so that when I whisk, it doesn't move around on me. I'm going to do one fourth of fresh lemon juice and one fourth cup of olive oil. Now, if you're a seasoned cook, you're probably saying, well, that's not the proper proportions, but I want it a little bit more acidic because I'm gonna add in so many whole grains. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wheat berry bulgur salad. So I have both for you. These are the wheat berries. They take about an hour to cook. So if you don't have an hour, double the recipe and use twice as much bulgur. But the great thing about this recipe I'm gonna add in two cloves of garlic while I'm talking, is that you really can make it your own. If you want a ton of parsley, triple the amount of parsley. There's no way that you can mess up this salad. So I'm gonna come in with some diced vegetables. I have red onion. I would do a red onion instead of a white onion because you actually are gonna use the raw product. Diced celery, very fine diced celery. Some yellow, orange, or red peppers. Green peppers are just way too strong for this recipe. So just stick with the other colors. And then some chopped tomatoes. One of the biggest rules with plate presentation with tomatoes is never present a whole cherry or grape tomato. So we're gonna dice those up and then bring in the grains. This is nothing but health for you, really good. It will fill you up, lots of fiber. If you wanna add some protein to the dish, you could always bring in some uh, nuts. I would choose walnuts for this, and then I'm gonna finish with some parsley. So if you want some other suggestions, capers, olives, really anything. This salad just screams, gives many vegetables, nuts. Once I have it all nice together, finish with a little bit of feta cheese, and it'll really add in some salt and add a little bit of creaminess to the dish. For more information on Creations Cooking and all of Chef Meg's recipes, visit Kroger.com. Then stop at your local Kroger for all the ingredients and get cooking.